Hello everybody and welcome to today's episode of Astrocraft. So today we are having a bit of a different episode. We just updated the server to 1.21. So yay, so happy. Um, the majority of the server did actually vote for this to happen. Um, so we're all in 1.21 and I can't really prove that well exactly. Um, so basically the best way I can show that off is like showing off the tough bricks and stuff. But it's updated to 1.21 now, basically. So now we have 1.21, great. But that also means all of my mods haven't been completely updated, which includes the replay mod. Meaning I can't really do the same type of time lapse that I generally do. So this time lapse in this episode is going to be a bit different. I'm hoping that the mods come out by next week. If not, we'll have some weird content few episodes but honestly it, it should all be fine it's fine so i have a new plan which i haven't really talked about much i just sort of got like the idea at the end of last episode to do for but um before we do that i got a comment at the end of next video not next video last video i'll put a screenshot of up on the screen right now asking if i can name the donkey john and of course i can John. Wait, this one is, yeah. This is John. Um, and you, I have a skeleton horse. Which you probably saw during the time lapse last episode. One of the skeletons got struck by lightning, and then there were suddenly four skeleton horses with skeletons on top of them. Um, not a very good thing you want to see when you're building there. There. Sorry. Um, not exactly the thing you want to be seeing when you're building over there. Um. Okay, there we go. There deal dealt with. Um. So not exactly the one, the thing you want to see when you're building that. Um. But I uh, accidentally killed most of the skeleton horses, but this one, this one survived, and it is now living with me as a skeleton horse. Again, if you want to name the skeleton horse, put a name in the comments. Um, I still have four dogs and one cat that need names as well, if you have ideas for any of those. Um, but today, um, you can see over here, I took down the big mountain slice that was sort of blocking the view there and just was really in the way. It only took me a few hours, so it wasn't actually too bad compared to some of the other stuff I've done on the server. But, um... Yeah, it took a bit of time. Um, I didn't exactly finish terraforming this area, so I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, but right now I'm going to try and start out with, um, with building uh, the cow area. Which I want to lower it by about 10 blocks into the ground. So, you can see you've been sleeping everywhere on the server. So here's just like the snow that I picked up in the because I I just repaired all my tools by the way both of these both of these were down by quite a bit so I had to repair those but I want to lower the cows by about 10 blocks like straight down just straight down 10 blocks and I think this area is gonna be big enough my biggest problem is probably gonna be covering up this ravine which I haven't really explored yet which I'm sort of excited to just go into for a temporary reason um yeah we're just gonna glide on in Ooh, that hurt the server is not as laggy as it was yesterday after its initial update so I'm pretty ex I'm pretty happy about that because I it it wouldn't allow me to stop flying initially so I'm happy that now I don't really have to be too much worried about getting stuck while flying because that was a pretty regular occurrence yesterday when I was on. Um, I don't think I'm really going to go any further than this because it looks like that's pretty dark down there, but um, I can always refer Starlight to go down there if she would like. She's always been the one that really likes to go down places so um 
you can see here, these are the materials I'm going to be using for this build. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to use a lot of stone for the walls and then maybe a gradient with some andesite in the top. Um, mostly stone. This is stone. Um, and then I have a ton of grass for covering up the bottom and mining down the bottom and yeah. But so I'm pretty much using the same Y level for all of this. Y level 127 because then I can walk over here and just sort of go down. And I have some ideas of more things I can actually add into the area maybe, but this would be like my animal roaming area. Whereas the area that I started building a few episodes ago with the windmill would be more of a farming area. And the reason that I'm splitting them up is because the cows are already over there and I don't want to move them all the way over here because that would take a while, number one. And number two, I think it would be better if I had a lot more space for my crop fields. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how far the crop fields are going to go out still. So I'm still sort of figuring that out. Um, it might be... If my thing isn't working next episode, I might decide to continue terraforming a bit more because, honestly, oops. because honestly, if um, if I can't do the replay mod, it might just be better to show off terraforming because it it looks sort of boring from this, but it's way less boring than looking at me building like this type of thing. Um, and falling a lot. And I'm gonna, if I don't have, like, Flightmatica, I don't really want to build any of this still, because then it's gonna be ten times harder to replicate. So I might actually decide to do stuff that I know how to do, which it might also just end up being me bringing this around in a ring. So me starting to build out the deep slate a bit, is what I might decide to do. Um, but I'm not really certain yet about what, how long it's going to take the mods to get back on um, and everything to get back up and running. Um, and you can see over here I did a bit of terraforming just to make this area look slightly nicer after me tearing down the mountain because as you can see I'm also going to be doing a bit of terraforming over there after a few mistakes I made. Um, so yeah. I'm hoping that, like, I can do a much better job of terraforming this area. But right now, I just needed to keep it pretty clean cut and, um, try and keep it as good as possible. Um, it's about time that we actually get to building this and get to terraforming and all that types of stuff. So, yeah, let's get started. Start the time lapse. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the time lapse. So, I just have a quick little word to put in. This is a really fast time lapse. Sorry if you can't see a lot. Um, it's just because this is the fastest I could go without me getting a bit dizzy because of how fast it was going. So, if you're getting dizzy, just stop watching, skip to the end of the video, you'll see the final product. Um, yeah, this isn't the general time lapse I do. This was the fastest I could put it without it, like, getting so fast you could barely see what I was doing. And you still can barely see what I'm doing here. It's just, can't really go any slower because this is going to take a lot of the video. This video is going to be one of the longer ones just because I can't speed it up anymore because it would make the time lapse basically unwatchable. Um, so here is what we are going to be doing, basically, I'm just currently mining up to, well, down to the correct level I want it to be at, and I'm cleaning up all the dirt, um, and edges so that I know where to stop mining. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some more, um, stuff, and so if you don't want to watch the time lapse, you can see there I got kicked. Um, skip to the end of the episode, you can just tell by me showing my character a bit differently then, um, and you can always reverse back if you want to watch more of the time-lapse, because it looks very different than it did at the start of the time-lapse. 
Um, it was a very long thing to do. It took me about three days, and I will say that in the end of the episode. You can see a few times I stop, and it's because I'm watching stuff while doing this. So I am basically checking on the stuff I'm watching and, like, moving stuff around on my screen. Um, so basically, uh, I get kicked a few times as well, which you will sort of see, but everything's just whizzing by. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys go and let you guys continue to watch the time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. If you don't want to watch this and it's making you nauseous or feel not okay, stop watching. Just go to the end of the episode, honestly. Um, you don't have to watch the transformation. It gets a bit dizzying like this, which is why I don't generally do my time lapses this way. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys at the end of the time lapse. And this time lapse is pretty long, by the way, so just hang in there. This is hard for you. It gets a bit slow later on.
time lapse. So John has somehow migrated his way over here. This is John, by the way. Um, and uh, I finished up. Now, as you can see, it's not completely finished. I actually had an idea to maybe put like some tiny little patches of wheat down so that um, it's sort of like they can have little snacks down there sometimes. Um, ooh, yeah. Um, as you can see, it hurts a bit to fall down here. But, um, yeah. And it, it is a pretty big area. So, like, all the cows will fit in if you're standing in the middle. But if you're standing on one of the edges, you don't generally see all the cows. But, yeah. I'm just going to take off my wings because it's server lag right now. Um, <laughs> it's not too bad, actually. So, you might see I got kicked a few times while building this. Um, one of which it was because my cybersecurity system was updating and it basically kicked me off of everything I had to reload. Um, but it's all for cyber safety, so make sure you do your cyber safety kits. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Here it looks a bit bare and that's actually on purpose and it's just because I'm not really sure how I'm going to terraform this yet, but um, I don't really want to just not about that area so that area is just not as beautified as the other ones with the little dirt drips um and i didn't i didn't add any of the gradient just because i didn't want to make it seem a bit too busy like i have a bit of texturing here as you can see with the andesite which is just natural this was like here when i was carving it out um but i'm not really sure how how much i'm gonna add but right now for this episode, it's already taken me... This is day three of recording, by the way. This is like the day I generally start editing day. <laughs> um, so this is one of the longer episodes it's taken me to record. Um, so I did not expect that. But I, I found it rather relaxing to take stuff down. Because um, I haven't really done that in a while. Um, so yeah. Um, and I came down here with a stack of wheat because I wanted to breed up some more cows because now that they have this giant area, I can fit way more in. It's just awesome. So I'm just gonna keep breeding around, uh, try and drag them out to the middle. Oh, I should put, actually let's put myself a touch in my offhand to mend up because um yeah as you can see I haven't really repaired my tools yet I just haven't really had the time to repair my tools too well so yeah plenty of tool stuff can happen and you can hear monsters and it's just because underneath here there are quite a few monsters um especially in um that area over so, I'm trying to sort of clean up how all the cows are. I'm just trying to, like, make it so that they're all pretty evenly spread because, um, it looks nicer that way instead of having, like, a bunch in one area. But, yeah. I think it's turning out pretty well. So, there we go. We're all out of wheat. All the cows are breeding. Wonderful. And my pickaxe is not as low as I thought it Well, it's not as low as it used to be. So we're just going to jump around and pick up some XP from all the breeding. And I did get a bit more XP than at the end of the time lapse there because I mined down all of the ores and um, you might have seen in the time lapse, you might have not been able to catch it um there was a bunch of i uh cows that passed away <laughs> may they rest in peace uh sorry i'm stuttering it's a bit it's a bit spacey today today's the fourth of july by the way happy fourth of july um and well belated fourth of july because while i'm editing today i'm not really expecting to be done hoping that it'll be out tomorrow but it might be bit later um so happy fourth of july or late fourth of july um and 
Oops. Uh, so I'm a bit spacey because I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I had to do something this morning for the 4th of July, and it made me exercise. So My opinion on exercise is it is good for you, but I don't like to do it. So um, I'm just a bit tired, so I'm getting a bit spacey. Sorry about that. As you can see, I'm very much loving this new Bad Omen thing because um, now I don't have to constantly go get milk. Um, I just have bottles of Bad Omen and I have four, which that says a lot considering how, how much time I spent working on this. It was a few hours, but I got that many pillagers come by and I had to kill them. So I think I have an idea of where I'm going to keep these actually because my donkey, John, is just wandering everywhere. I had a pretty good idea of how of what to put in him just now. I was thinking I could put bad omen bottles in John's chest. So anybody who wants a bad omen bottle at my base can just go to John and get their bad omen bottles from him. Um, and that's just where I'm going to keep them. <laughs> um, so... I am truly loving that update uh, because now I don't have to worry as much about that. Actually, um, the cows, you can see at the end of the time lapse when I was moving the cows in, um, I sort of pushed one over first to see if I could just let them all fall down. And um, obviously, I figured out that you couldn't really do that. They, um, they died pretty quickly. <laughs> Which is how I got um, an extra stack and 21 pieces of beef. So that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> so basically now it, it, I just have to clean up this area. And this terraforming actually, I think it turned out pretty nicely for this. Um, and this area too. Um, but the back of the build, let's just say it's sort of a work in progress. I just have a bit of a stone wall there, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll fin I'll fix it later. And it looks like I have another donkey to tame. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And if you fly up, you can see how nicely it all looks. Sweet. Ooh. And it fits very well. And I can do another fly over here. So, yeah. Oops, I'm a bit too far this way. Oh, and here, here's a new update on the Iron Golem situation near my villagers. It's gotten to be um, quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot of Iron Golems. Um, and there are a few trapped up here again. Yeah. This is just the never-ending problem with my Iron Golems um, and my villagers. So, I am not sure what I'm doing next episode. Part of me is thinking, because I spend so much time on this episode, I'm not really thinking about ne next episode a lot, because I have to finish this one first. But I'm thinking I might start building the villager area down here. Um, because that sort of needs to be done sooner rather than later. Um, or another thing I could be doing is building the... Um, fields over here because it's sort of it's getting a bit hideous to fly all the way over to my starter area so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you guys next time on Astrocraft make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my content make sure to like this video if you like this video and look in the description and check out me and Starlight's channels if you want to go see more Astrocraft content. Um, and I will see you guys next time on Astrocraft. Again, streaming Monday, Monday next week on 1 p.m. Eastern Time. See you guys there. Bye.